Hello. I have something very important to announce. Um, well, two years ago, yeah, it was about two years ago, um, closer to three, now that I think about it. Anyway, okay, when I was 18, I moved away to Sacramento, and I was going to go to school, and... I was going to major in business and marketing. I was going to try to be like a stockbroker, kind of, I don't know what I was going to do in that world, but I, anyway, I, I didn't end up doing that because I took an acting class as well, and I found out that's what I wanted to do with my life, and I really love it. I really love the craft of it, and um, I would do it if they worked for less than minimum wage. That's, that's how... That's how much I um, enjoy doing it. <laughs> and anyway, after I quit that class, after I finished that class, um, I had this big plan. I was going to make a movie so that when I moved to LA, um, I would be able to have a movie like to show people, you know? Cause you can't just knock on agents doors and be like, um, cause that's the, that's the whole business is you have to break into the business by, um, let me rewind this. So breaking into the business of acting, um, you basically got to get somebody to pay attention to you. Give someone a reason to pay attention to you. They're not going to pay attention to you because, you know, I'm talking about like agents and uh, casting directors and stuff. Like they are not going to pay attention to you just because you're good looking or because you promise that you can act. They want to hear, check out my, my demo reel, or check out my movie. And... Um, so that's what I planned on doing at the age of 19. I was gonna make a movie, I was gonna sell my car, and then I was going to buy camera equipment. I wrote the script for a movie, I got actors together, and all it was left to do was sell my car, and then buy my camera, and we were gonna shoot this movie. And what did 19 year old Jake do? He got drunk and crashed the car. <laughs> Not funny, but the only thing you can do about it is laugh. So that really derailed things right there was because I was in this positive state of uh, wanting to make a movie and, you know, and I fucked it up. I don't know why I fucked it up. I just did. And that was kind of like a domino effect um, of, you know, I had this huge plan. You know, when I finished my acting class, I had this huge plan. Like, I was, by this year, by this age, and this age, and this time, and this time, I'm going to be this, I'm going to climb this tie on the ladder, blah, blah, blah great plan but after I wrecked my car no wrecking my car was like the start of my life kind of like unraveling because bad thing after bad thing or hard thing after hard thing kept happening and um, I couldn't stop it all I can do is kind of like endure and try to learn from it as much as I can as best as I could anyway I meant for this to be a short video point is, things went badly, and my career took a bit of a detour, but something happened to kind of revive the fire, the intensity of that fire, because the dream never died this whole time that I was suffering, I did like hang on to it, you know, that was only, one of the only things I hung on to, was like, at some point I'm going to get to make movies in my life, so that was worth holding on to night like, to not give up in the middle of depression you know and um, do something horrible to myself um, and when you get that low it's you don't think logically you know you don't try to talk yourself out of it like the only you only have bits of hope to hold on to and this part of my life the career that's what I held on to and my family of course point is, I was in a Gus Van Zandt movie, yeah, Gus Van Zandt is an Academy Award winning actor, I'm a uh, director, one of my favorite directors, and my first on-screen appearance was in his movie, I was in the background, but who cares, my first on-screen appearance was with Gus Van Zandt, and it, and it wasn't like a one little second, like, oh, there I am, it was a solid 10, 10.8 seconds, <laughs> and, um, Anyway, 
that was huge for me to, to, that might seem like a small deal to you, but to me, I was like, yes, because I worked on a lot of projects when I moved to LA. Because then while, while things were um, unraveling for me, I was still like, I, just, I still tried to force my way. I was still like, I'm gonna have to remake this video.